Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 52 of Terraria 1.3. Last episode was a little bit more with the turd. We started working on filling it in. I wanted to ignore the phallic object. <laughs> I wanted to uh, fill it in with more dirt, but I also wanted to work in the Skeletron Arena because I didn't want to completely bore everybody and alienate everybody. Um, what we will be doing here is we cleared a bunch of trees down, or out rather. We will be just be placing a few platforms. Let's go up so basically the zombies can't reach me. And we'll get rid of these because I can I can jump that high. I can jump way higher than that. But now we'll put platforms down. I will make a super small, basically minimalistic as all heck NPC house for both the dryad and the nurse. And then the hope is once we have them move in here, the dryad's buff's gonna help me out with Skeletron a lot. Then I can talk to the nurse if I get hurt and I don't have enough time either to heal or something, and we can just heal off of her. She costs a little bit of money, but it's like nothing at all to heal. So we'll do that. And just, you know, thinking of strategies here to help me out with Skeletron. I kind of want to... It's goofy, I know. I, I kind of want to try the bee's knees against him. Uh, again, I know. Goofy. Uh, <laughs> Space Gun is very obnoxious when I'm playing to the user, or to the people watching. It makes a ridiculous amount of noise. Like, compared to other items in the game, that thing's sound effect is just redonkulously loud, and when you're using it in a boss fight, it's good. It's a good item. But it can also just drown out my voice, and it can also drown out like other game sounds. So I'm going to stay away from that. Hey, look, Silver Ore. <laughs> Slimes, man, the gift that just keeps on giving. And we will be using the slime mount for the fight, due to the fact that if I'm above him, uh, and he hits me and I have a slime mount out, he'll just hurt himself. And also, one of the biggest, best things to be able to do is jump out of the way, because he lunches at you a lot. And with, with the slime mount, it's going to enable me to do that very easily. It's just going to be a matter of me remembering to use the mount. And my god, we already went through all those platforms. So remember when we had all that, all those logs last episode at the end? Yeah, no. Not for long. Good thing it's a 2 to 1 or 1 to 2 recipe. Unless <laughs> we'd be here all day. So I will be able to hang my heart, heart lanterns here. I'll be able to put my campfires down. It's going to be a glorious time. And I'm just going to put the NPC house it's kind of in the middle, particularly the Dryad, because her, her attack only has like a certain radius to it. And so what's going to happen is basically when you talk to that old man over there, he gets angry with you. Actually, he doesn't get angry with you right away. You click curse, and as soon as you click curse at night, Skeletron pops out and tries to rip your face off. And then that is the fight from that point. Usually not that big of a deal, but of course we are in expert mode, so it will be kind of a pain in the butt. He does have an extra attack that I'm aware of. I beat him in multiplayer. Uh, he shoots like skulls at you. Kind of like the... Actually, I think it's exactly the same, except for they move faster, as the, the cursed skulls or whatever they're called that you find in the dungeon. He shoots those at you, and they home in on you, they home in on you and they're very annoying. They're not incredibly difficult to d uh, dodge, but of course when you're dodging him on top of that, every little bit helps him and not you. I want this money. There's quite a bit here. Gimme, gimme. So that's probably more than enough layers. The really, the biggest issue is, in my opinion, length of the uh, platforms, not not the height. Uh, to be able to run sideways for a while is really helpful. So I will actually go out a little bit on these two. And you don't want to get too far away from the dungeon. He can despawn. I've had that happen. Like I used gravitation potions and I went straight up in the air. And he just kind of disappeared. <laughs> so. Yeah, that sucks. Try not to do that. This is uh, this is probably long enough. Let me just extend these over to the dungeon. I mean, it doesn't hurt to leave the rope there. One block does not make a difference. That should be good. We'll do one more layer above me. I'll, I'll extend this layer over. I'd like to stay on these two layers if possible for most of the fight. And then we'll get our, our heart lantern down. We'll get our campfires down. And I will make just little crap shacks for the NPCs to move into. So obviously they only need like a crafting table and a chair <laughs> and a, uh, a torch and a door obviously so I can get in and out. And that is it. So there we go. That is plenty of platforms. Now uh, I can use the campfires in their house so I can just also use torches. Uh, I'd like to just kind of have these sort of evenly spread out so I'm getting the buff at all times. Obviously I'm very far away from that one. Now do I ever not have the buff? Very faintly. For a very short amount of time. So, it wouldn't hurt to make another one. 
It's not like it costs a lot. <laughs> so let's just do that. Now the Heart Lanterns, I think they have a slightly larger radius. I don't know for sure. Now with wood, what I need to do... Dyad, she's going to be probably right here. Uh, just get rid of the wood platform floor. And I will place wood here. And go up. And I will actually get rid of these as well. What I will do... This might be too small of a house for her. I have to open these up put doors here. Because I'll leave the doors open so I can just run straight through. I might want to make this like one more that way. That ought to be good. We'll find out if it's acceptable housing here in a minute, won't we? And we'll make a crafting bench. Or we'll workbench, whatever you want to call it. A chair. And then I can make wooden walls. Dirt walls? No, they don't work. Wood walls. And just place these. This will be the Dryad's little crap shack. <laughs> That's all it takes. And then uh, that was perfect amount. Damn. I'm good. Open the door. Open the door. Put a torch in here. That works, but I would like to use these torches rather. Okay. Now let's see, is this acceptable housing? Housing is suitable. So first thing we want to do is bring the Dryad over so she actually starts walking over here. Uh, if you leave and like teleport, sometimes she'll just appear over here, which is what I'd like. But a lot of times it doesn't happen. I kind of get stuck. And that always bugs me. But the sooner we start, the better. And we can hang the Heart Lantern. So let's see how far away from that thing. Okay, so no buff over here. And we should stop right about here. Also, hang another one here somewhere. And uh, what you can do... I mean, just delete that. Put a wood block down and throw another Heart Lantern. So that's fine. Now the nurse... Where do I want you? I would actually like the nurse near the Dryad, to be 100% honest with you, because they will, well, she will heal the, the Dryad, and I don't want the Dryad to die. So I will tell you what, I will put it like right here. And it might be too many wood. Three, four, five. Is that about the same? I think this house is actually one more this way. So let's just do that. Again, these don't have to be perfect. These are crap shacks just to keep the NPCs over here, just to be viable housing. And let's go ahead and do this, and we'll make some more doors. I don't remember exactly how many door or how many wood walls they made last time. I made the perfect amount. <laughs> it's not gonna happen this time. I I'm, I'm just saying. So let me do another chair again. They don't need to be fancy. Probably less than, or probably more than that. But I colored outside the damn line. I failed art class as a kid. Uh, break you. Good. I, need, I, mean, I think I need one more batch. Or not. I might have made this house a little bit bigger. No, that actually is fine. So, I was close. So, do this. Open the door. Okay. Slap down a torch. And now, this should be suitable housing. We'll check. Housing is suitable. We'll start her over here. So, she starts walking. You're going to have to hoof it, lady. I don't have any transportation set up. No teleporters yet. We are not that far in the game, sadly. So now we have all of the buffs. Obviously, more potions would be nice. And we're going to kind of want to take the dirt that I did here, or I had here. This could be a good or a bad idea. I truly don't know. It could be a useless one. But what I'm going to do is, because I, because I want to goof off and do something completely different than what I'm used to doing, let me take the dirt here. Just go about yay high. That should be fine. And then let's just start building kind of like a roof. And the whole point in doing this is so when the bees hit, they can ricochet back down at them. Again, it's goofy. I should just use a space gun. But I want to try the bees' knees against them. It's more than viable. It'll, it'll, it'll work against them. I know it will. You can kill them with less. But I want to I wanna do it this way. I want to break things up. When you've killed Skeletron as many times as I have, you, <laughs> you end up wanting to try something slightly different. And this is what I'm doing. Now, what I would like to do is also bring the bee's knees over here, shoot it up in the air to make sure that they're not going, like, off-screen. That this isn't too far away. Uh, let's see. What I would like to do is fall down, build upward, and then let's just do this. So this, could, this could be, like, my own demise. I could trap myself in here. <laughs> Whatever. I just want to try something a little different. So there it is. The whole point is I shoot bees knees up there. That should be fine. Yeah, bees knees will hit there. You can see that you can actually see the wall kind of at the top of the screen. You can see like how it's an uneven, it's not a perfectly straight line. But okay, so that'll work. I know that'll work. 
Uh, what I would like to do for you guys, so you guys can see everything, is let's start putting torches down. Because the last thing I want to do is fight this dude in complete darkness to show you guys, and then you guys can't see. So spam them torches. They're super easy to get. They're super easy to make. Well, why the hell not? Okay, and I'll do. It. I'm gonna do it on every layer so you guys can see. And I'll put some on the ground as well. And I'd actually put some on the walls over here, or to my like the the dirt walls, so we can see those as well. So we can see the boundaries. And you know what? It wouldn't hurt to do. It would not hurt to just continue these over to here with what I have left to use them. They're doing me no good in my inventory at the moment. I can always craft them back in the wood, but who really cares about that? That is more than enough. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I want that money. Even though it's not a lot. Give me the money. Give me the money. The more the merrier. Hey, the more of you that spawns, the better. I can summon my own goblin army if I keep killing him. So, torches on these walls. I would like to do that. And it doesn't really hurt if I put them on the outside or not. Just as long as there's a few here. In fact, let me go up to the surface. And put some here. This is just so we can see at night during the fight. And there we go. Oops. Stupid molten pickaxe, one hitting my blocks. <laughs> so that that is fine. That works for me. I don't want any gaps in there. I mean, I could open it up and let me go through there. But the, the whole point is that the bees bounce off. Again, this is probably all wrong, all goofy. But I want to try it. I will learn my lesson the hard way. So that is that. They haven't moved in, obviously, because I've been here. And they're kind of wonky. In the sense that she's traversing over here, but she got stuck because they're stupid. And they walk on a perfectly straight line. The whole point is, like, when I teleport home, they might kind of just appear over here. So that works. Theoretically, we could attempt the fight tonight. But I would like to make sure that not only is my inventory good, that I have, like, all the uh, necessary potions and such. I haven't been getting my fishing quests. i busy. Caught anywhere? That's an easy one. Let's do that now. We've been shirking these quests for far too long. <laughs> I get I get distracted in building. I get distracted in other projects that I forget to do this. Nope, that's not going to work. Grab the rope. Got to use the clouds. Okay. Do this. I like to split the difference again. All right, so let's get that slime fish. Let's get our quests. Again, we're close to 25. And they can't be caught anywhere, so I can catch them up here. Considering adding clouds to my base, uh, the, uh, the floor, well, the floating turd, Put some clouds there, that might be cool. I will obviously have to destroy a floating island for that to happen. Which, truth be told, I might do that in a different world. Like the Crimson Aglet world we called it. Just go over there and steal some clouds. Because that world is basically there for materials. It's not there to look pretty. <laughs> we will sacrifice that world for the greater good. <laughs> for our world. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, I'm going to get a whole bunch of bass, aren't I? So what potions do I want for the Skeletron fight? Uh, if I'm using the Bee's Knees, and I don't really think it works with the Bee's Knees, but I'll probably do it anyway. Use a Ranger Potion. The Archery Potion, rather. Uh, Endurance Potion would be nice. I do have Armored Cave Fish, so I can make that. I obviously already have Iron Skin Potions. I have Regen Potions. These Speed Potions are actually really useful for this fight, because they're going to be moving a lot. Uh, is there anything else I can really think of? There's probably something I'm... Obviously, I'm missing. But those are the really important ones. Yeah, I'll use those. If I can see anything when I'm looking at the potion list, obviously I'll make that. But those are the big ones. Those are what I absolutely want to bring. Would you just give me my slime fish? Imp. <laughs> the imp apparently doesn't work underwater. Look at that. He was shooting and it's making the sound effect. But nothing's happening. <laughs> I didn't know that. So he does not work underwater. Get out of the water, buddy. And as soon as this fire hits the water, it stops still. Damn, you learn something new every day. Also, the fact that I can't get the damn fish I need. Come on, give me my slime fish. Oh, can you go back to the surface? The Jeopardy music is playing in my head right now. Do, 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 do. Yeah. All right, I am just going to go to the surface and go to the other one. Because this, this one's being mean to me. We have this big lake over here we can deal with. I'm not, I'm probably not going to help at all. We can catch it in either, either location. I'm just getting unlucky. But I like being over here. Also, the imp will actually be able to kill things over here because he won't be underwater. For the most part. 
What is going on here? Is it because of the moon? There, there is, again, I mentioned it before, moon phases have an impact on your fishing, uh, on your fishing power. Also, like, what spawns. So, maybe I'm just getting unlucky. Another bass. Aren't bass... No. Wait, I'm being stupid. Never mind. Ignore me. I was going to say, aren't bass only caught in certain places, but... No, just no. Ignore me. <laughs> I'm no fisherman. I have no fisherman. Uh, This is kind of a random thing to have reminded me of something, but the stairs here... These, uh, made out of regular wood, what I might end up doing is going over to the jungle getting mahogany logs. A lot of the mahogany furniture, and I think the platforms, would look really good in the treehouse. So I'll probably end up using those as well. There is the palm wood, but the palm wood... It does have a lot of things that have like green on it, but I don't think that would really work in the living house. I will make a uh, like an angler shack. I did that before, for like for the actual angler, and I made it out of palm wood and it looked really pretty. Like I I brought like seashells and everything into it. It looked really good. I will I will definitely do that at one point. Nope nope. I'm trying to kill things with dash because the imp is being stupid. And he's underwater again. Nope didn't get anything from that pull in. I think I pulled it in a little bit early. This is like the most difficult slime fish quest ever. Should have just brought a sonar potion. Is it really worth using a sonar potion on that? I don't think so. I shouldn't keep killing you like this. <laughs> I should just pull out the space gun and kill those things so he stops going down there. What is going on with this quest? I hate this fucking quest! I've been doing this the entirety of the night. I haven't gotten anything yet. It's already halfway through. Fishing sucks sometimes. Fishing sucks. Come on. I'm about to go get a potion to do this. A uh, fishing potion. Oh my god. I am sorry to make you guys watch this. This is just ridiculous. Alright, if you're not the if you're not the fish I need, fuck it. Alright, go over here. This. I will waste my only sonar potion and I will use a flipping fishing potion. Split the stack, damn it. Don't take them all. Okay. Sonar potion. Fishing potion. This is ridiculous. Fishing pisses me off sometimes. Come on, give me the fish I need. Can I hit the water? Damn. Now can I hit the water? Alright, so you'll see what the sonar potion does here. I think I've already shown it off. It shows the name. Bass. So, don't reel it in. Just wait. Do-do-do. Bass. <laughs> so... Obviously, when you're normally fishing, as soon as you see it bob, you pull, because you don't know what you have. This is the benefit of a sonar potion. Hopefully, the fishing potion is increasing the frequency in which I you know, get a get a bite. This is retarded. This is redunculous. This is silly. This is obnoxious. Give me my fish. The worst part about a sonar potion, if you know what you have on the line, you reel it in and it breaks. I'll take an iron crate. That, that is the saddest, saddest of things, because then you get nothing. And you know you missed what you needed. <laughs> Iron crates are good, but they're no they're no fish. He said slime fish. It said anywhere. Come on. I'm not crazy. Bass. Can we just remove the bass? Can we make bass go extinct? Because they keep biting my fishing rod. I don't appreciate it. Slime fish. It took forever and a day, but we finally got it. Last fish is going to be a bass, right? All right, bass, you're coming with me. You know what? You know what? Where are the bass at? Where are the bass at? You are a bass out of water. I'm just going to leave you there. I have the birds get you. <laughs> Alright. Justice has been dealt. Let's turn this quest in. That was ridiculous. Hey, Bryce, what do you got for me? Princess bait and angler pants. Do I have the hat? Do I have pants? Oh, that's the last piece I need. So there you go. That's the, that's the full fishing set. Uh, I don't want to do it that way. I can I can wear the vanity set. So what I can do now, and I think I'll do that every time, so when I get a fishing quest, I'll just swap it over. That way I you know get the, the passive buff. I think that's a good idea. Let's turn in the strange plant thing here. Reflective silver die. I've already gotten that before. Give me that. What's the silver die look like with the angler stuff? Let's see. I always forget you gotta do it this way. Didn't mean to drop that. Silver die, here you are. Doesn't really do much of anything, but I'll wear it. Let's go.
go ahead and turn in the die here and also quick stack some things because I know I have room for crates. Now, I'm going to buy more flares for one because not having a stack of 999 is ludicrous. Do that. Musket balls. I'm not using anything with a musket right now. I'm going to sell the Hellfire arrows. I will buy... Uh, no. I, I will buy arrows, just regular arrows from you. Because we're considering using the bee's knees. I just put that over there as a placeholder. That's fine. Uh, take this off my hotbar. Quick stack you. Demon torches. Don't need on my person anymore. I'll put them in this chest. Acorns. Do I have any need for acorns over here. Looks like I do. So let's play some acorns. There's quite a few fireflies that could be capturing, but we're on a mission. We're on a mission to do other things at the moment. Let's place these. Alright, there you go. That gets rid of all my acorns. More fallen stars is always nice. Take them back home. And I'll take this off my hot bar. Now, the potions. Let's look into the potions. So, endurance potion. Uh, am I opening the wrong chest here? I oh, probably don't have all the Ingredients I need. Uh, I don't have the bottles in there, that's why. Glass walls. Can I make you back into glass? Yes, I can. And then into bottles. Should be able to make you into bottles. I need to be near a furnace for that. Okay. Let's get the water. I don't have any bottles of water in these chests, that's what's going on. Bottled water. Alright, now... With that, if I open this, I should be able to make some more potions. Okay, so endurance potion, I'm going to absolutely make one of you. That reduces my damage being taken. Wormhole potions are so useful. I love these things in multiplayer. You can teleport to your friends. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Danger sense potions don't help. Battle potions do not help. Shine potion would make it easy for you guys to see me. Sure. Uh, magic fire potion is no. I already have a regen potion. However, oops, wouldn't hurt to make. No, why am I? Why does it do that? I'm trying to make one, and it was opening up the chest. All right, so I make a few of those because they help. I will favorite this, and to be honest with you, let's make that. Make a couple. Now, black paint. I can put this away when we go home uh, to our new home. I can put that away. I don't need that. I don't need this. I'm gonna get rid of some of the stuff we don't need when we go. I'm going to go over there uh, to actually do stuff. That should be a helpful assortment of potions. If I press B, I'm going to use some potions I'd like to not use. So I think I'll leave those in the chest. Let's bank the die like I said I would. Okay, that ought to be good. Quick stack our money. Put our money over here. I do not have as much money as I would like. Silver coins. Is there not a platinum in here? I don't think there's a platinum in there. Oh, I need to use you too. I keep forgetting about that. I'll just bring it with me. We'll remember here at some point. Okay, so... Now, the bee's knees, obviously, that would be important to bring with me. I forget where I stored you. That's where I stored you. <laughs> yeah, we will use you. I will use the bee gun for S's and G's. I'll bring it at the, at the very least. Please get potion does not help me for this fight. Bee nades will. I will bring these. Alright. That ought to be... That ought to be good. Gear-wise. We, we should be set. I am going to go ahead and... Break these. Because we don't need these anymore. And I'll bring the seeds and such over to my house. Just put the clay pots away. They don't, they don't do me any good here anymore. Any of this stuff grown? No, this has all been relocated. Okay. Hey, look, some, some reasonably sized trees. Go figure. I can't ever get good trees to grow. Okay, so they can bring more meteorite walls. I still don't know a solution to the whole meteorite in my house thing, though. And that saddens me. So, before we go and do anything else, I will put away a lot of the building materials that we do not need for this fight. Yeah, let me get rid of that. So... Building materials in particular, I want to put away. In fact, I'll keep the bug net. This is building materials. That stuff, okay, this stuff's all going to get quick stacked. So, find the chest. Yep, that's the chest, that, there are those are the chests that hold it. So, there, there is quick stack working the way it should. And I love it. And just harvest all this day bloom. This is what I want to be able to do. Just come in here, 
pick up literally everything, and then quick stack it all when I'm done. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Okay, and then when you're done, just bam, quick stack, done. Just like that. How much do we have in here? 30 seeds already, 24 in that stack. There's some over here, right? Nope, okay, well, we'll start spreading it. I mean, what I want to do is be able to... Either one of these chests will have the respective seed in it. And we still need to work on Captain Penis over here. But I want to go fight Skeletron. Oh, what time of day is it? Get out of the way! <laughs> Stupid slime doing one damage to me. What do we got over here? Time of day. Sun's at the top left, so we don't have that much time left. However, the time it takes to run back over there will take up the majority of this. So I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Maybe the next episode, a little bit in the beginning, we'll do a little bit of dirt filling. I think we'll try Skeletron. If it goes well, awesome. I don't expect it to. If it goes horribly wrong like I expect it to, well then, I'm not surprised. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. We'll do it in the next episode. This one was obviously fishing quests, making the arena. The NPCs have moved, which is huge. And I look forward to the next one. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.